look at that. Watch out, Mario, it's coming straight for you. This is a display of territorial dominance right here. Wow, that is so cool, like a big slimy booger. It is just waiting to inflict a sting. I think we've got a new king here, folks. What's going on, Coyote Pack? This past year had some pretty unforgettable moments, and we got to work with some of the world's most iconic animal species. So let's take a look back at the five most iconic moments of 2018. I've always dreamed of feeding a prehistoric looking behemoth. And while feeding a T-Rex is definitely impossible, this past year I did get to feed a saltwater crocodile. And boy was it intimidating. All right, here we go. It's breakfast time, buddy. You literally, one chomp, ripped the rooster right from the pole. <laughs> well, good job, Bully. I think he knew that I was a rookie. In all fairness, though, I think the rope got pretty yeah, saturated, yeah. and uh -huh. it, was the, it was the rope, yeah, guys. It was the rope. It was the rope. I think we've got another rooster, though, we don't do, we? We do, we do, yeah. Let's reload. Here we go, rooster number two is about to go down into the danger zone. Woo! There he is! <laughs> okay, get down the rooster. I'm not gonna pull though. Yeah, you're fully extended right now. Uh, he's trying to take it back into his corner. Just wanna slowly work it in this direction. Okay, he's coming back here. Whoa. A little bit of a head shake. You know yep. Uh, Come on, Bully, you can do it. Believe it or not, I'm actually... Oh, he got the rooster. He was either gonna get the rooster or he was gonna get the whole pole. Man, that was crazy. To be honest, I think my croc feeding skills need some work, but we did manage to capture some pretty amazing shots. But we have always wanted to feature elephants on the Brave Wilderness channel. And finally, in 2018, we made our way to the renowned Karika Game Reserve and they are known for having an incredible group of elephants. Now, their most iconic elephant is known as the Big Tusker, so we set off in the wild hoping to capture this animal on camera. But as we headed up into the mountains, what we found ourselves in was an incredible elephant battle. We watched two of these titans go tusk to trunk. Trust me, it was an intimidating situation for myself, Mark, and Mario. But as we came back down off the mountain, we did manage to locate the iconic Big Tusker. Let's take a look at what it was like for me to get up close with this enormous elephant. Guys, we have found the Big Tusker. He's right here off the side of the road. This is him right here. Look at him coming out. Wow, look at the size of that elephant. If you thought the elephants we saw earlier were big, they don't even compare to this giant. Look at him coming right toward the vehicle. Look at those tusks. You just have to sit back and absorb how intimidating the size of that animal is. Now it was cool to see the three sub-adults up there in the underbrush fighting, but this, oh man, it doesn't get any bigger than the big tusker. I wish I could get into the frame a little bit better for scale here. Let's see if I step down off the vehicle like this. A grand finale, traversing through the grasslands and finally getting the big tusker up close for the cameras. Looking back on those shots, it's hard to believe how big that elephant truly was. And when it came around the side of that tree, man, talk about a heart racing moment. It's a good thing that I was close to that vehicle and managed to get back inside before the big tusker decided to run me over. 
One of our greatest accomplishments this past year was the launch of Mark's new series, Blue Wilderness. And I got to be a part of the first episode where we dove with tiger sharks. Now, this certainly wasn't intended to be a bite episode. If you guys saw that one, you know how close it got. Let's roll the footage and see what it was like for me to get up close with the infamous tiger shark. When we first arrived at the bottom, the sharks were still very cautious, circling us at a distance of 15 feet or more. But with every lap, they became more and more confident, especially when the dive master began to introduce food. Seeing the sharks chow down giant chunks of fish was a quick reminder of the seriousness of those teeth. The way they could just devour fish after fish after fish was extremely impressive. Then, just as their curiosity and comfort levels hit their peak, came the contacts. And to no fault of his own, Coyote, well, let's just watch. Yikes, that was close. So, so close. Good thing Coyote got lucky and was able to quickly avoid that chomp, or this would have turned into a horrific bite episode. So what happened there was I accidentally provoked a feeding response. Now, the good news for me is that my hand did not end up in the mouth of the shark, but if it had, well, let's just say that that episode would have ended in a pretty catastrophic disaster. Getting bitten by a tiger shark is not something you want to happen. Okay, coming in at our number two most iconic moment of the year, we return to South Africa, where the team and I produced a two-part African lion episode. Now again, we were working with the Karika Game Reserve and their veterinarian team. Our goal was to successfully tranquilize the lions so that we could collect biometric data. And then, I got hands-on with the king of the savannah. Keep in mind, guys, these lions are just asleep. None of these animals are actually hurt. Here it is. Here's the male. That is unbelievable right there. This is the closest I have ever been to a wild apex predator of this size. Oh, you can feel it breathing. Oh, beautiful animal. How this creature is enormous, and it is still a sub-adult male lion. I want to come on this side just to show you this paw. You've got the mane. You can see its face is covered up there. It is asleep. Look at the size of this animal's paws. It is bigger than my hand. That is crazy. Look at the mane of this animal. It's so dense and oh, it smells like South Africa. It smells like the savanna. A little bit of grass and a little bit of sand. I'm going to slowly just kind of pull the lip back here a little bit. Wow. Whoa. Look at those canines. Holy smokes. Unbelievable. Guys, I smell a lion. How crazy was that? Putting my face into the mane of a lion, and it was certainly, at least for myself and, and certainly the Brave Wilderness team, an unforgettable experience, and those were without question some of the coolest episodes we produced this past year. Okay, so we weren't going to get out of this Epic Moments episode without talking about the stings. And this past year, I took the two most painful stings of my career. The Japanese giant hornet, and of course, the execution box. This completed my climb up the insect sting pain index. So tied for the number one spot, let's revisit these two gnarly stings. That is a big hornet. That is a huge hornet. The biggest hornet on the face of the planet. And I have a feeling that the sting is going to be intense. Wow. All right, everyone just take a moment to soak this in. That is an enormous hornet. Look at its abdomen pulsating. And you look at the mandibles, those are used for chomping. I think I may also take a bite during this video as well, which I'm kind of afraid of. I can't stop my hand from shaking. I haven't been this nervous since the tarantula hawk. Sure you wanna do this? Yeah, there's no turning back now. All right, you guys ready? Ready if you are. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Japanese giant hornet. One, two, here we go. 
three. Ah! Oh, this thing stuck in my arm. Oh! How bad is it? Oh man, wave of dizziness is really quick. Ah! Oh! Oh, searing pain. Absolute searing pain. So, here we go. Mark is giving me the signal. It is time to get stung by the executioner. Here we go. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I believe it's here. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the executioner wasp. Here we go. One. Two. Executioner Wasp packs an unbelievable wallop. Man, the initial impact is definitely just as sharp, if not worse, than a tarantula lock. Look, you can see the blood underneath the skin right now. My arm is throbbing. It is on fire. So there they are, the five most epic moments of 2018. It was definitely quite the year, and I, for one, cannot wait to see what the future holds for the Brave Wilderness team and I in 2019. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you missed the painfully entertaining conclusion to my climb up the insect sting pain index, make sure to go back and watch Stung by an Executioner Wasp. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.